when I first read The Shallows, it was such an exciting story. It just grabs you on such a primal level. The power to survive, the power of will. You immediately imagine, what would I do if I was in this situation? It's a big challenge to make a movie like this. You know, I have done movies before that are, you know, very high concept, but these had elements that they're all scary by themselves. It has one location, has water, only one character, live animals, and a CG monster. Put together, they make a mega challenge for a director. Everyone says making a movie on water is the most difficult thing on Earth, and you think, how hard can it be? It's really hard. The weather changes every 10 minutes, or there's mechanical things that don't work because the ocean is stronger than you think it's going to be. Everything about shooting in the water is hard. So we're here, we just managed to install our rock. It's a very, very complicated engineering feat. It goes down about uh, five meters all the way down to the bottom where there are several tons of cement blocks that are holding this rock in place, which is identical to the rock that you're going to see in the tent. Yeah! Come on now! had a replica of the rock that we used in the tank that we needed to put in the ocean first. We submerged a huge piece of grid, essentially, to try to get it on. The Australian marine divers are some of the best in the world, and we were very fortunate to have them on our crew, and they really worked very, very hard to help us with that. These are the guys that did it. Look at this incredible team of workers here. Unfortunately, the seas were so rough that for the first eight days, we couldn't actually get it on. We had to reconfigure the rock so that we could figure out how to do it, and finally we were successful. Yeah. You know, the power of the ocean, it can never be underestimated. You don't know, even if you get there with everything, with the cameras, the actor and everything, if the swell is gonna let you shoot anything. The most complicated scene in, in that aspect would be the scene in which Blake is talking to the surfers. Careful, gringa. Out here for a little girl from Texas. I think I'll be all right. It's the simplest scene that you can imagine, and yet it's almost impossible to shoot because everything in the ocean moves. Even if it looks like the swell is not big, it's huge. So you have grips basically trying to ride the crane to keep that steady. At the same time, you have divers holding Blake because if they don't hold her, she's going to drift. So. In order to do like a two minute scene, it takes like an entire day. There's another scene in which we have to capture the point of view of Nancy from the rock as the surfers are coming to her. We cannot do that from a boat because like I described, even if it's st steady, it moves a little bit. So we use the platform from the rock and we extended that with a tripod and we put a cameraman on top of the tripod in the middle of the ocean. So you're trying to do something that is very technical, yet everything around you is very chaotic. It's pretty crazy, but uh, we did it. It makes me really proud to be part of this team, you know, but especially Blake. Once she was in the water, she wouldn't leave the set until we made sure that everything was absolutely perfect and we got everything that we needed. It's a very, very, very physical film, so I had to train um, not only to learn how to surf as best as possible, but you know, there was a lot of um, just endurance training and physical training for my body that I had to do, but it made me proud to be able to do that work. I think it's physically very exhausting. She you know, got an extraordinary shape to, uh, to do the role because it wasn't about looking good in a bikini as much as it was about being able to do the physical action that she needed to do to pull off the role and to be believable as a surfer. The island was chaotic and magical, and the tank was very technical and frustrating. You could control aspects of it, but there were a lot of limitations. You're basically shooting for 30 days in the same direction, and you cannot just turn around because we have the wave machines over here and the cranes over there. It means that 
you're doing one shot like this and the reverse also like this. So it becomes a puzzle, but you're doing basically the same shot over and over again. The movement of the buoy is pretty complicated, so we built a hydraulic system that moved that buoy and actually swung it very, very wildly. The big thing with the buoy is that in the storyline, the shark attacks the buoy, so of course when the shark attacks it, the buoy actually gets knocked down and ends up laying parallel in the water. And that created the movement of the shark attacking the buoy, and it was quite successful. In any movie that it's sort of a survival story, us as people that make them have a journey as well in making them. And I think this movie has had a journey for me that equals the journey of the character, which is, you know, having survived the experience and grown from it.